everybody. How's it going? What the hell is this? So my neighbor's got a problem up to his camp. He's got uh, the plastic floating docks that go out into the water, and he has to take them out in the wintertime. Um, well, before winter, because it'll freeze and ruin them. So his dock looks something like this. So, him and his girlfriend, they try to pull them out, and they both got hurt because they're, I think they're 12 foot long. And this is what we've came up with. He bought these rollers on Craigslist, and they roll really nice. So, and what he's going to do is, we did a lot of work on this thing last night. Everything was shot. The tilting was shot. The tilting pins wouldn't come out. We put new tilt pins in. We put new bolts in the in the tilt because they snap right off. Um, it actually wouldn't tilt. Once we got the pins out, we had to just literally cut the pins out. And I had this, I'll show you the scrap box. So I had this garbage winch on it. These are the original pins. I had to grind them off to get them out because they wouldn't come out. That's a scrap pile of bolts. There's a tilt bolt right there. I snapped it off. So, what this does is, backs the trailer down in, tips it, and put the pontoons on here, and then winch it up on the back. And he'll do that till he gets every section out. So, I took the crank off last night. He was going to use the crank. And the crank is like 100 turns to 2 inches. It was ridiculous. Plus, it's worn out. It's a piece of crap. So, I had the winch here that I had up there in my ceiling that I took out. I'm not going to use. So, I'm like, why don't we just put this on? We mounted it. We had to, uh, we had to move this bracket back because it was up here. We had to move it back to bolt this in. So, this is bolted in with two bolts. And it's got a big wash underneath so it can't pull out. So I got this mounted last night, mounted the box on, wireless remote. Um, we covered all the connections in the sealer. He's going to get a uh, seven round plug for his truck, so we'll wear this in. So this will easily reach to plug into his truck for power. That's cool. And when this is up, so you pull the pins and the bed tilts up. This is what we thought about in the beginning with the old one. This is set up for the old one. So the cable would run up through here, and it would grab the pontoon things and the docks, hook on, and pull them onto the trailer. And once it hit the front, the cable would then tilt the trailer down, leave it hooked. He can move over to the side of his property, unhook it, tilt the trailer, roll them on the ground, and then go back and get another one. So that's where this idea came from. This had a higher railing on it first thing i did last night my saws all ripped through this stuff like butter and i took off you know a foot and a half of railing because the pontoons on plastic barrels so the plastic barrels will roll up in here so each barrel is for one of these rollers and this will just keep it the barrel from sliding off the side because the actual um dock board sideboards will be like way up here so the barrels will lift it up over this railing. Because I said we're going to have to cut these so they don't hit. He says, no, the barrels will be rolling up past them. Hopefully I'm right. Hopefully the barrel doesn't, the dock doesn't come sideways and get caught on one of these. If it does, he's going to have to grind them off. So, <coughs> yeah, my, I am paying for this last this morning from last night. My shoulder is killing me i mean it really didn't do much but my back i woke up this morning i didn't even want to get out of bed i mean there really wasn't any heavy lifting i mean with two of us these rollers don't weigh much so what i did with these rollers to hold them in place was i drilled them into the side and it goes into the frame and those are self tapper like two and a half inch long so i got two in the back and then i got two up in the front and then what I thought about was when this tips, there's going to be a lot of weight pulling on the front. So we drilled through, and there's a bolt, and there's a big plate underneath, so it can't rip out. So we're good there. And then this way he can just pull this 
freewheel it, you know, and hook onto the dock and pull it up. And he could use this. I mean, if he can't do it with a single cable, then he's got the snatch block to go on there. So my job is today to take off this stupid idea. I got to mount the roller fairly. I got to reroute the cable because I had to set for what I was doing. And uh, so I just basically got to pull this out and put the cable through the center in here. See, I was up in the ceiling and I was pulling down like this in the ceiling. So I only needed one. So take that off. All I basically got to do is just put a square plate on here and bolt the roller fairly in like that. And then we're good. So that's basically all I got to do today. Not a big deal. If I had a big plate, I could run it from here, anchor here, and then bolt it up into here. So. So this is it. That's the end of it. And then when it gets here today, I just have to wire the plug into the truck. That's simple as anything. So this is what it came up with. And this should work out just fine. So pull the pins, tilt it up, and back in, grab a dock, pull it up on, and go deposit it on the side of his lawn and go back and get another one. He's got to do that, I don't know, a few times. I can't remember how many sections he's got. but So that's it. So that's what's been going on in Andy's garage. Um, he's got a spare section. Which now thinking about it, we just should have threw it in the middle just for the hell of it. But I don't know. Uh, another note, the only other thing I've done in here is I put a stereo in with subwoofer, left and right center channel speaker up there, and then there's the other speaker back there, and I've mounted speakers up there. So I've got one there, and I've got one there, and it freaking cranks in here. It's loud. It's amazing. I love it. So, and I'm going to buy a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to buy a cheap vacuum cleaner so I can clean these rugs. Because like an idiot, I uh, I threw out the, the suction part for that. The long hose with the big flat suction thing. Oh, I should have had this on video yesterday because this was, uh, this is pretty funny. So there's a bolt in here. And we ground them off. And it wouldn't drop through because it was hitting the frame. So I went and got my three-foot um, bolt cutters. And we cut it. And what, what's right above us? Yep. You know, this one light's a little dimmer than the other one. Because that one is a high output. And this one on this side is not. Well, you probably can't see a difference now. But we cut the bolt. And it shot straight up and blasted into that light. And smashed it. And we got a shower of glass all over us. I just want to check my car because I don't know where. It ricocheted somewhere. I thought for sure I'd come out and see a broken window in my car because I didn't check last night. But So, the garbage can is full of glass. There's a remaining piece. The vacuum cleaner is full of glass inside. That was pretty interesting. But... Man, that bolt snapped, and it was like a freaking gun went off. Boom! It hit that up there. And uh, we both got a shower of glass on us. There's it's glass even way over here. Glass went flying everywhere. So I got most of it cleaned up. I'm still finding it. I got to pick this stuff up because I don't want my dog stepping on it. And there's just glass all over the whole freaking garage. No matter where you look. There's glass. I don't want my puppy dog getting a boo-boo foot, so. All right. I babbled on long enough, so. This would be pretty cool. This should work out great for him. So. I just got to make a little plate up for that and done. All right. So that's what has been going on in Andy's not-so-crappy garage. So if you kind of like what you see, like, subscribe, share, and uh, any ideas, questions, comments, post them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And have a great day.